What's up, though? It's your boy Evans Octius or Octius Gamer from Techie Bahamas. Right now, today is my birthday, so wish me happy birthday late if you want. As of when I'm filming this, it's my birthday right now. Today, I'm unboxing my new laptop. Now, this laptop is very, very unique. It's from a company named Electronics, but it's not spelled that way. Uh, this is a laptop that could take a desktop CPU and I wanted one for my production because everybody knows the desktop CPU is more powerful than the laptop CPU you know what I mean also it's much thicker so transportation would be a little weird but um I'm not a small guy I can handle it but we about to unbox this that's why you cannot see my face like I don't want it to focus down here so let's see what we going to get you feel me and hopefully this can stay on the sink focus now <clears throat> As you can see, she is well sealed, man. Well sealed, and I'm telling you, this weighed at least seven, five to seven pounds. And the other unique thing about this, I bought this bare board with me, and I have the CPU chip from my board. You know, I have the CPU chip that's here. CPU chip that I'm going to use is here, and also the SATA drive is here for storage. I didn't have room for the mechanical drive. So that's great. This is uh, that ball, by the way, is an MSI um, uh, Tomahawk or something like that, white color. And um, I uh, recently upgraded to another chip, but the chip in there is uh, i7 and uh, it's good for speed. And I wanted my production to be portable. So, besides that, we're gonna need RAM. Now, this is from G Skill, right? G Skill, yeah, G Skill RAM. This is 8 gigs. Of course, they're gonna be able for one more. The other thing this does not include is a window license. So after you um, put all these together, it comes to a hefty amount. But initially purchasing this thing, it doesn't cost that much. You know what I mean? It's a good bargain. If, but if you get the bare bone one, you have some extra to get. So right now, let's get inside this. Okay. Ugh. All right, so after, whoops, man, they, they really seal this thing. This is one box and another box. If I knew that, I would have started off from here. But I didn't know. As you can see, company's name's right there. Like I say, it's not spelled the way that it sounds, electronic, with the K inside in the middle of there. They have a little seal quality seal right here. Say they only sell quality. But anyway, we need to uh, going through that. Let's try to get inside here real quick. So now, first set of foam to hold the laptop above. I'm gonna let some of that bottom. Oh, this is not that bad. I thought this was gonna be a huge, huge laptop. This is not bad. This is like a the size of a typical gaming laptop. This is good, and it goes with a uh, a, uh, a CPU from a desktop computer okay so battery some of our uh, uh, plug some food if you feel like eating these I I'm playing don't don't eat this shit I don't know it probably do you something like that, okay? um the other side of the adapter the adapter is I don't know if you have own a, a Dell laptop usually Dell laptops have adapters about this big now, just to be sure, I'm going to have to order one of these adapters to have around just in case something happened. I live in the Bahamas, and um, things down here is go down. That's just the way Bahamas is, you know what I mean? And, uh, I'm ready to talk, and I'm not sure if this thing is on. Just making sure my audio is on because it's not showing on my monitor because I'm monitoring everything here. See? Inception. Brrr. You know? Put that aside. So, we got ourselves some literature manual and stuff like that and um this doesn't have a cd-rom drive but they gave me a cd-rom this what i'll probably put on another computer that's for the drivers and stuff put on another computer and download them right there this give us let's see what this give us all right how to get in and out the system different parts what different lights mean and uh yeah just standard stuff this is um very I'm just not like in a booklet form, it's still very detailed. Um, the battery, I see some screws are included in here, I'm not sure what they're for. Probably a hard drive, I think. 
and uh, battery the next side of the power cord and now that I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not as big as I thought because I really thought it was going to be something huge now let's see what this looks like this is this is manageable this could be my production uh, portable production system wow they even seal the plastic that is in like ziplock ziplock it you know what I'm saying sheesh they really don't want you they don't want nothing to snake in here okay so hopefully I don't damage it trying to get in what I don't like about the system already is something small, it's just smooth. Nick picking it, okay? It don't come with a lit up keyboard and has a turn off to me. Seriously, because I, I work in the night and I would love a lit up keyboard. And, oh, wow, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so, they have a plastic that covers the screen and it looks good. The screen looks really good. Jeez. For what I pay, I pay under me a thousand dollars for this, and it looks really, really good. The keyboard feels like it doesn't have too much throw; it goes straight into it. Like my last laptop was a was a, a Mac. I still have that, but the, my other workstation was a Asus N fifty six VZ, and good laptop. But it had this problem where every time you change something in the BIOS, it usually break the damn computer. Wow, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. So, um, what we're gonna do is get inside of it. I'm gonna ah, by my luck, I bring the wrong screwdriver, huh? So excuse me again, guys. Oh, it's probably about a lot of cutting. The bottom of this laptop, I don't like how it's made. I don't understand. It's supposed to be a very cheap laptop. It may, it feels wrong. All right, so let's get some of these screws off so I can show you what inside look like. Okay, so yeah, slide side, it's forward. Oh, it looks good, it looks good. It looks really good. So, let me see if I can see what I'm showing you guys. All right, so, from here. This is where your CPU fan is, and your CPU chip is gonna go here. On this side is the NVIDIA, this is the other reason why I like it, because this is a gaming laptop as well. And here's an NVIDIA 1050 Ti chip, and I have a desktop gaming. This right here is gonna be so when I guess whenever my son's over, we get to play games. I'll just load some in here, and then he could have the big computer. I'll keep the smaller one. This is gonna be fun. Now, right here, we got where our RAM go, and it has two slot DDR3s. On this side, we have where our SATA drives go. Yeah. Two different side of drive. I think one is a PCI Express side of drive, and one is just a straight up side of drive. And right here is where we can put in a mechanical hard drive. So I'm just gonna put them in. There's no. I don't think I'm gonna do any close up of anything. I'm not gonna let y'all bass into my enjoyment. This is not a straight up detail video. I might open this so I can see if any thermal on it. I think I got a little bit of thermal. Now, I'm not sure if the fan, oh no, the fan doesn't come off to just the heat, seat, the heat pipe. And here we are. Voila! And wow, attention to detail. To protect the socket here, they put a little film. Oh, this is not even something small. Uh, really hard plastic over it to make sure nothing gets inside of it. Also plastic over here. So, I don't have thermal on it already. So I don't have to worry about thermal. I'm going to use what they have there. It, if the temperature don't go down, then this be a problem. All right, so, first thing. First, let's get a chip in there. This is um, i7 from one of my desktop systems that I have on the side. It was my production system. But, look at that, fits real good. And I don't think this thing's popped out like the last one. This is what they had at the top of it. It's like a, you ever play cards, like playing cards? If you just play cards, this is like the same, about the same thickness as that. Put this back on. Largely, it lasts just like a desktop computer. Everything about it is the same. Everything about it is the same, look at that. Everything about it is the same way. Now, I was gonna take out this one here, but I'm gonna leave it. If the, the temperature comes up, then I'll get some heat sink later, cause it's easy to get in and out of the system. I can see everything, the whole layout is here. I don't do anything extra. Now we can put the, we can put the little round what I got from G-Skill. 
2400 megahertz. Um, I'm not gonna show you all the, uh, me programming this, but uh, I guess I'll do a boot up to make sure the system working and go to BIOS real quick and um, then we get in the video there. So it's in. I'm thinking I got the right one now. Yep, I did. And we got this out of drive in. It's over here. Yeah, let's hopefully hope that's the right slot. I have the other drive for this here, but I'm not gonna deal with it here. I just wanna see if this boots up. Let's put the bottom back on. It'll probably boot into the last drive I had. This is, this is a small, bi small battery. I ain't giving you all the detail spec or anything. Whoa, don't you break it up yet. So, let's see if it comes on. And, yes, we got some juice. Now, the compatibility is our main problem. Don't know if it's compatible with the RAM that I have in there or not. Right now, we're not getting any post. Oh, there we go. It's got me. Let's get it. I guess it was doing this auto uh, configuration. And now it is there. Very small. And then the bottom came off because I didn't have it attached properly. And plus, the heat sink is not on. So, dangerous stuff, guys. But it works. Okay, now that I have it fully up and running, not fully because it's not programmed yet, I'm trying to battle between Windows 7 or Windows 10. Um, to see which one to go in. I'm thinking Windows 10 have a lot of background stuff gonna go down. Not sure, but Windows 7 is what I'm, I like playing with. I just need to see what all my all my programs, how they run on both. I'll put a demo of both of it. But this is how it looks. So to tell you what it comes with, um, on this side you get uh, VGA port, you got um, uh, Ethernet port, Two um, USB 3s and also HDMI out, just in case you want to put this on the side on our screen. On the other side, you have your headphone and mic input and output. Another USB 3 and a USB 2 port. Now I think they have a model that goes with a CD drive. If it, if this was the model of CD drive, would have been here. Instead, I think this is the ventilation for the for the video card that's in here. There's a Nvidia 1050 in here. And uh, this is how I look a little closer. It's up and running. i7 desktop PC. Had it running for a while, just in BIOS, and it's it's not more, it's not hot or anything yet. So so far it's good. So guys, thank you for watching. If you want one of these, this is from a company named Electronic. Uh, online, and I think the model of this is um should be at the bottom somewhere. Actually, it's in the BIOS. Uh, it should be. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm not in the buyers. Yes, I am in the buyers. It's not in the buyers. So at the bottom, I don't see it. But I think it's W um, six fifty KK something like that. So check them out. And it's bare bone. Bare bone. You get it for five hundred dollars or so, and then you add the other stuff in. So you get a bare bone if you want. Whatever your chip costs, put that on top of that. Windows license on top of that. Um, RAM on top of that so at the end of the day you should probably still pay underneath a thousand dollars for the system here and it's um so far it looks good the, the screen is crisp the keyboard doesn't feel too bad I'm pretty sure I saw one of the models with similar to this with a lit up keyboard I'm gonna contact them and see if I can swap the keyboard if so then I'm gonna purchase one of the the light up ones thank you for watching sorry you, can, you can't see my face like that my bad cuz um I needed room for this and this lens is not that wide to capture the desk and also up here so when I get one of those you'll be straight. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.